Hello guys, I hope you are all doing well. In this video, we are going to look at some of the string functions that we generally use in C programming language. So let's begin. All these functions which we are going to talk about are defined in a string.h header file. So for using any built-in string function, we have to include our string.h header file. Okay. For that we will use hash include preprocessor directive and then string dot h right also our regular header file which was which is the studio for basic input output operations dot h and right? then word main okay now let's say there is an array the name of array is arr and the content is linux right now our first function is str len everything is in lower case okay and here it will take some array and in the output it will give me the length of this array okay length of this string so its return type is integer right remember that so it will return me the what is the length of our string okay so if we write here printf of percent d then s t r l e n a r r which is the name of our array okay so this is how we use this s t r l e n function okay now what will be the output here see 1 2 3 4 5 okay it is 5 uh, the length is 5 here the length is 5 so its output will be 5 Okay, now if I increase another character, let's say there is another i, then the length will become one more, and it will give me six. Okay, simple use of strlen is to tell the what is the length or of our array, of our string. Our next function is strrev. Strrev function. Okay, it will take some string, and it will reverse the string. Okay, for example, if we write here printf of percent s this is small and i write here str r e v and name of our character array that is the a r r that's all okay so right now it will take linux as an input and tell me its reverse what will be the reverse which will be its output which will be x u n i l okay so our output will be the reverse of our given string which is the x u n i l now our third function is str l w r which is a string lower it will take character array as input okay or a string as an input and it will make each character in its lower case okay in lower case for example if our array is let's say capital l i n u capital and x everything is in capital okay and i write here printf of percent s then str l w r string lower and name of our character array which is array then what will be the output the output will be linux in small case okay in lower case the output will be shown and if character is before let's say it was already in lower case then there will not be any different it will still give me the lower case of entire string okay and opposite to this str l w l r there is str u p r okay it will give me upper case of character array upper case right now let's say here if input bar was in a small case l i n u and a small x okay and i write here str upr which is string upper case then our output will be in capital letters okay l i n u x capital letters okay upper case right and if there is already a character in upper case then there will not be any difference it will give me the entire string in upper case next we have str cpy function okay which is string copy it takes two string as an input okay 
let's say this is target and this is source right and whatever will be the present in our source array or source string it will be copied into the target string how let's see an example here let's say there is another uh, array or string its name is let's say source so okay and i write here let's say a b c right now let's see here when i define array it will be something like this l i and u x and slash 0 and here a b c which will be a b and c and slash 0 right now i write here str cpy our target is array okay target string is array and then our source is let's say so right then i write here printf of percent s our target string which was array okay now what will be the output now what's happening here everything which is present in our source string will be copied here so what is present here a then here it will become a also okay it will it here it will stay a b c and here also it will override these values okay so a b c and also slash 0 right and this will stay like this okay now we know that printf when we use percent s then what it will do it will keep on printing the values until it encounters slash 0 value okay until it encounters null character so here output will be a b c okay it will print a b c and encounter the null character and it will stop note that here slash 0 is also copied whatever is present in this location okay one more thing is that here instead of writing so we can also write something like a b c okay both have the same meaning similarly in previous function also we can write a string in this format or we can define a variable then write there okay there is no problem in any method next we have str c a t function okay which is string concatenation it also take two inputs let's say target and source okay and whatever string is present in source okay it will be appended to a target array okay target string whatever is present in the source it will be appended it will be appended not overwrite it will be appended to the target string for example let's say if the if first array was let's say a b c and another array was source array was let's say c d e right so our final array will become after performing this function it will be a b c and then c d e okay it is concatenating to our target string right now let's see an example here here if we write here str c a t then let's say our target is array and then source is so okay then we do here printf of percent s and array okay so what's happening here first we have array which which has the content of linux u x slash 0 and here it has a b c slash 0 okay this is our array and this is so source okay any name could be given there is no problem in that so now this slash 0 will not be here any longer okay and the values we keep will keep on appending from this location right so it will here it will become a right then b then c and then slash 0 okay now if i print here percent s then it will see that we will we can see here that now the slash 0 is encountering in this position so what will be our output l i n u x then a b c so here our output will be l i n u x and then a b c right now our last function of this video is string compare okay str c m p it takes two strings as an input and tell us whether both of these strings are equal or not okay so let's see here how it is 
implemented. So we write here printf of percent %d and str cmp then let's say array this is our first string and this is our second string okay now what's happening here what's happening here there is our first array is l i n u x right and slash 0 and our second array or string is capital l capital i small n then capital u and x and then slash 0 okay now first let's consider here it is capital n right so here it is capital n now it will it will check that whether this array is equal to this array or not so it will check this character with this character this character with this character okay adjacent character of the two arrays this is array and this is so right adjacent character will match adjacent character will should match adjacent character should match okay until it encounters slash zero right so now these two arrays are equal so our output will be zero right so when two array are or strings are equal when these are equal then our output will be or it the function will return integer value zero okay we generally use it when there is if condition that uh, let's say something like this if strcmp let's say there's a string 1 and there's a string 2 okay and if this equal equal 0 that means both of these strings are equal okay and according to this we will perform some operations right now what happens when those these two strings are not equal for example let's say here instead of capital n there is small n okay then it will match adjacent character this will be okay this will be okay and this will not be okay okay because here will be now small n the rule is that it returns the difference between the sky values of these two particular location okay so here the in the return value what it will return that sky value of capital n minus sky value of small n okay so this is 78 and this is 110 okay so in our output in our output if we do here it will return as minus 32 right and if we reverse it let's say here it was n and here it is capital n something like this n and capital n right so here it will become n then capital n and then it will become 110 minus 78 so our output will become positive or 32 only right so it will return first mismatch the different of sky values of adjacent character of first mismatched character okay this was our first mismatched character even though if there is some other character let's say t it it, it doesn't matter because it will return the first S difference between sky values of first mismatch okay first mismatch another thing that let's say there is uh, both of these are capital n both of these are capital n and here it is u here it is x right and here it is t let's suppose here it is t right so it will check okay 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 now here there will be a mismatch okay point is that null character is also matched okay also compared okay so the value of null character right now is 0 and for t it is 116 okay so our output will be 0 minus 116 and now it will give us minus 116 okay so this is how we use the string compare function right so that's all for today guys i hope you like the video if you have any doubt please comment it down thanks for watching and i have to see you in the next video